Trump's political clout is on the rise. Opinion Turkey quakes. Fast track visa welcomed. No visa would be even better in a whirlwind of congressional upheaval. The United States House of Representatives has finally elected Republican right winger Mike Johnson as its speaker, bringing an end to a tumultuous three weeks that had rendered the chamber inoperable. The recent fateful vote witnessed a close margin of 220 to 209, propelling the third term congressperson, aged 51, into the coveted speaker's chair. This leadership void had persisted since October 3 when Kevin McCarthy was unseated by a faction of uncompromising hardline Republicans incensed over a Democratic deal with President Joe Biden that had successfully averted a looming partial government shutdown. In the intervening weeks, the Republican majority, though slender, engaged in a contemplative and often contentious search for a suitable successor, scrutinizing and ultimately dismissing three prospective candidates. It was amid this labyrinthine process that Mike Johnson emerged as the chosen one, a seasoned Louisiana lawyer who had garnered the unwavering endorsement of none other than former President Donald Trump. Johnson's political journey had been punctuated by unwavering dedication to conservative principles, most notably exemplified in his fervent advocacy for causes like school prayer. In a noteworthy political turn, the heretofore obscure Louisiana conservative Johnson exhibits a striking resemblance to the former president's distinctive rhetoric and style. However, for the ardent Trump supporters within the House Freedom Caucus, Johnson's ascendancy to the speakership is a clear endorsement of a leader who echoes their former president's core principles. This, in turn, underscores the enduring influence that Donald Trump maintains over the Republican Party, as he continues to hold its reins with an unwavering grip. As for Trump, he has once again placed a key figure within the congressional leadership, one who, if history is any indicator, willingly follows his lead. Mike Johnson, aged 51, has not only stood as a crucial member of the House legal defense team during Trump's initial impeachment but also played a prominent role in challenging the legitimacy of Joe Biden's victorious 2020 presidential election. With these credentials, his standing within the Make America Great movement, MAGA, remains unquestionable. What has truly paved the path for the heretofore lesser-known Johnson's rise to prominence is the resounding endorsement from none other than Donald Trump himself. Trump's recent shift, where he abruptly abandoned his prior hopeful, Tom Emmer, a Republican whip and congressional representative from Minnesota, is indicative of Johnson's political trajectory. In a scathing rebuke, Trump labeled Emmer as a Republican in name only, rhino, and ominously cautioned against supporting him deeming it a tragic mistake. After witnessing his prior favored candidate, Jim Jordan, stumble repeatedly in his efforts to secure the endorsement of the House Republican Conference, Trump came to a realization. With the once promising Emmer's reputation in tatters and no longer in contention, Trump seized the opportunity to exert his influence in earnest. I am not going to make an endorsement in this race, because I could never go against any of these fine and very talented men, all of whom have supported me, in both mind and spirit, from the very beginning of our great 2016 victory. My strong suggestion is to go with the letting candidate, Mike Johnson, and get it done. Fast, is how Trump posted on social media to convince the Republicans to unanimously support Johnson. Curiously, following Johnson's triumph, Trump fervently celebrated the outcome. I think he's gonna be a fantastic speaker remarked Trump on Wednesday from the courtroom in New York, where he currently faces legal scrutiny in connection with a lawsuit related to business fraud. Trump, who stands as the leading contender for the Republican presidential nomination in 2024, expressed his high regard for Johnson, highlighting the absence of any critical commentary thus far asserting that he had not heard one negative comment about him. Everybody likes him. Johnson's triumph serves as yet another affirmation of Trump's unparalleled sway within the Republican Party, firmly placing him in the driver's seat to shape the party's narrative and positioning him as the unmistakable frontrunner for the Republican presidential candidacy. As a conservative figure with a limited leadership background, Johnson is predominantly recognized as the architect of an ill-fated initiative, where 126 House Republicans sought to persuade the Supreme Court to overturn the 2020 presidential election results in states that had slipped from Trump's grasp. 
With such a diehard supporter in the seat of House Speaker, Trump will find himself well positioned to exert influence and set the agenda in the upcoming congressional face-off over the U.S. spending bill, as well as President Biden's proposed $106 billion allocation for assistance to Israel, Ukraine, and domestic border security. In a communication addressed to his fellow lawmakers, Johnson has made a commitment to advance long-overdue spending legislation, assuring that the U.S. government remains operational as current funding faces a deadline on November 17. However, there is a substantial possibility that Trump may seize this opportunity to his advantage, seeking potentially unfavorable concessions from the Biden administration. Yet, more immediately disconcerting is Johnson's regressive stance on Ukraine where he has expressed opposition to the ongoing funding for the conflict in that region. Evidently, it appears that Trump has steadily emerged as the most formidable contender in the presidential race, with an enormous influence on American politics in the coming days.